Greetings and welcome to Your Inspirations. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life, and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the Twisted Knit headband. Please click the link below to download the free pattern, and while you're down there, be sure to subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting, crocheting, and other yarny stuff. Now, even though this is fabulous and fashionable, it's a super easy knit, and you can make it even if this is your very first project. We're going to take a closer look at how to do the seed stitch, so let's get started. Now I have already begun a sample that is 19 stitches wide, because I like to have it small enough that the whole thing fits on camera, but following the instructions you're going to cast on 39 stitches. So the first row we're going to knit one, and we're going very basic here with the instructions so that if you're a brand new knitter you can still do this pattern. So remember for a knit stitch you're going to insert your needle tip through the front of the stitch on your left hand needle if you're right handed and vice versa if you're left handed. Yarn over, pull that stitch through, and once it's completed push it off the left hand needle. Now my next stitch is a purl stitch and my working yarn is behind my work because I just finished a knit stitch. So we're going to bring it between the two needles to the front of the work so I can make my purl stitch. And remember for the purl, I'm going right to left through the front of that stitch, bringing the yarn top down, pulling it through the work, and then once that stitch is complete, pushing it off the left hand needle. So we're going to knit one, and then we purled one, and now we're going to knit one, so I put my work in the back, my working yarn in the back, And now it says repeat from asterisk, so that little star, to the end of the row. So we're going to purl one, knit one, all the way across. So I brought my yarn back to the front, purl one, bring my yarn to the back, knit one, and I'm going to do this all the way across till the end of the row. Remember to, when you're bringing that working yarn back and forth, make sure it goes between the needles and not over the needle because you don't want to make a stitch where there doesn't need to be one. Now the mechanics of this might sound a little familiar. This is very much like how we do ribbing. Sometimes we will do a knit one, purl one ribbing. And in that case, you're knitting the knits and purling the purls. But in this case, and let's take a closer look, if it looks like stocking stitch right here, if I was going to do ribbing, I'd be knitting, but because I'm doing seed stitch, I'm going to purl. And then for my next stitch, see the little purl bump right there? Sorry, I got my working yarn in the way. So we see that little purl bump right there, so I'm going to knit that. So this is a good way to learn to read your knitting, even if you're a new knitter. And a great piece of information to have if you're interrupted while you're knitting, you know what stitch you're going to do next. Knit the purls and purl the knits. So we're ending that row with a knit one. You can see my seed stitch building up. And then when I begin the next row, I'm going to start with a knit one. Purl one knit one, and then repeat from asterisk all the way across. Purl one, knit one. Now, once my piece measures 21 inches, or 53 and a half centimeters from the very beginning, I'm going to cast off, and I'm going to have a rectangle shaped 
piece of fabric. So to do the finishing, well, let's take a look. I just made a fabric sample here so you can see close up what I'm talking about. So this is about, certainly not the size, your, your headband's going to be much bigger, but this is about the shape of the finished piece of knitting. So it says fold headband in half lengthwise. So here's the length. I'm going to fold it in half so that one side edge is up against the other side edge. And it says sew edges together to make a long tube. So once this is all sewn up, I have a long tube of fabric. Twist one end of headband 180 degrees and sew ends of headband together. So once my tube is all sewn up, I have these two ends that are shorter. So if the headband was to be straight, I would sew them together like this. But because I want to put that twist in it, I'm going to twist 180 degrees. So I'm going to take this side and instead of attaching it here, I'm going to fold it this way and attach it in this manner. So here's my folded piece, here's my tube. This is how they would go together if I was making a straight piece, but I'm changing it by 180 degrees by turning it in that direction before I sew that up. So that's gonna give me that little twist that you can see here in the fabric and you can also see in the photo of the pattern. And that little twist can go anywhere you want. However you put the headband, you can uh, put it on so that that twist is either center front or off to the side or wherever it is that you would like that to be. So thank you so much for joining us here for the Twisted Knit Headband. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting, crocheting, and other yarny stuff. And we look forward to seeing you again here real soon. Bye-bye.